My best feature is probably my smile, because I smile a lot. Former Love Island contestant Marlin Anderson started getting cosmetic surgery young. Around my late teens, I'd say around 19 years old, 20 years old, um, I was cabin crew and people were talking about lip filler. And then I got it done once and I started to develop more body dysmorphia. I'd look in the mirror, see my lips, think they weren't big enough, and then I kept repeating it. As her career developed, it escalated. Now she sees cosmetic surgery as a form of addiction, encouraged by a huge list of factors. So there's social media, there's the media, there's on the news online, there's diets, there's a the diet culture, um, the magazines. But what it boils down to is not being authentic to who you are. I wanted to alter how I looked like because I didn't find love from my caregivers growing up and I thought if I changed my appearance, I'd be loved. But it's thought thanks to shows like Love Island and celebrity influencers such as the Kardashians, the beauty industry is booming, with more and more younger women seeking cosmetic surgery. With Love Island, I saw a dramatic increase in um, younger, mostly women, requesting dermal filler packages, wanting to achieve a Love Island look um, because they'd seen people on TV and they were like, I want to look like that. Um, again, I'm not an advocate for these sorts of things. I don't do packages. Um, aesthetic treatments are not about looking like someone else. They're about small, subtle tweaks to improve your appearance. New data shows the number of salons offering such treatment on the UK's high streets increased by 31% over the last five years. The highest jump regionally was in the north of England with a 46% increase, followed by Scotland where there was a 42% rise. But for some, the young age of people seeking these procedures is really concerning. We really believe within the Mental Health Foundation that actually this is a public health issue. What we are really concerned about is the commercialisation effectively that's taking place within the beauty industry, which includes these aesthetic procedures and cosmetic surgery. And actually, these are irreversible and quite often things that could have significant detriment effects on your wider physical health as well as your mental health. And as you say, um, we're getting into a stage now where um, young people are potentially getting into debt. But with procedures becoming more and more accessible on our high streets, it's easier than ever for young people to try to look like the stars they idolise, no matter the cost. Rachel Venables, Sky News.